All right, here we go, y'all. Um, got my brother back in the building. It's always a special occasion when I got this guy. I could pin him down. We could sit down and just do what we do. Always a fun conversation. I'm Yo, ready. Welcome Prezo. back to the show, Ray. Good to have you back in the building. You're looking good. I'm following you on the gram. You're looking like the Incredible Hulk over there. What's going on? Man, I just been working out, Prez. You know, um, I, I had took a, a about a six month hiatus from the gym. Was going through a lot, you know, just trying to get my life stable back together. But man, these last few months, I've been hitting the gym like I never had before. And man, it just feels good. It feels amazing. I'm back. It's like, and you know, with the gym, you got to get back into that flow. It's like, you know, physically, you know, your strength can come back because of mess muscle memory. But if your mental's not in it, it's hard to like start over. Like I gotta start over. I used to look like this, and I gotta get. But man, I've, 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 I'm past that. And man, I, I just feel, I feel amazing, Press. I really appreciate it. I feel amazing. Okay, so let me just ask you straight up, like real talk. At, at this point in your life, what's your motivation? You know, I'll be fifty. I'll be fifty-eight next year. Two from sixty. Um, just that alone, just making it this far, where we was just talking earlier, where a lot of our guys that we grew up with just. Man, it's, you know, it's, it's rare. You know, you could say 50, 60% of the people that you actually grew up with aren't here no more. And we're talking maybe 50, 100, 150, 200 people that you know and, and close to you because we're growing up in the hood and we're all, people don't, people take for granted how close we are when we grow up. We're all on top of each other, whether it's projects or living in homes close to each other. We all are close proximity to each other. So when you grow up in the hood and you grow up in the late seventies, the early eighties, you know, a lot, you, you, you look at it now and you just see, man, like maybe half of your childhood friends are wiped out, you know, and it's I just, tough. you know, you know, I got a seven year old now, of course I got my other three, um, you know, adults, they're all adults now, but it's like, you know, I want to be here, man. I want to be here. I, my, I mentally, I feel real good. And I, I feel like I have a lot, more to offer society and, and humanity. And I just feel like, I just feel like, man, if you work out, if you stay, you know, in, in motion, you know what I'm saying? If you eat well, you could definitely add years on to your life. And I, you know, that's the motivation. Nah, that's a great motivation. I'm gonna tell you something, um, you know, even as, even as all of us age, it's one thing to add years on to your life, it's a whole other thing to add quality years onto your life. Like it's a lot of people here, but dudes is, you know, they ain't in good health. People walking with bad limps, people overweight, um, taking insulin back and forth to the hospital. You know, I always pray and I'm putting the work myself because I would, to, to, to me, it's about quality of life. Like, like you. if I'm going to be here, I pray to God that he bless, bless me with good health, and in right. a really good quality of life. No, oh, man. I, you know what? And, and also it's like, you know, man, it's it's it just feels good when 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 you can come out here and you can do the things that the younger people are doing. There's nothing that these younger guys are doing that I can't do. And that alone feels good because you know, hip hop has really kept us young at heart. Yep. You know, hip hop, the culture has kept us young at heart. If without hip hop, we probably we probably be a lot older than we than we portray to be. You know what I'm saying? And I think hip hop kind of injects that youth in you, and you always keep it, and you always want to because we're so close to to the younger generation. Even though the younger generation thinks we're so far apart, they don't understand how really close we are. And right. it, it, you know, it's you know I. Listen, man, I want to be here. I got a seven-year-old man and Zeno, man. I want to, you know, I want to be able to be here, like you said, and, and have some quality time, go out, go outside and run with him. You know, he's he loves running and I, and, and I love to run with him. So I don't want to lose that. Nah, that's dope. That's dope. Okay. Um, stand on the subject of your kids, man. Your daughter, Koi. Shout to Koi. You please tell me you caught up with her with her Mav Hoffa interview. Man. Probably, man, I, you know, I, you know me, I got, I seen the interview and it was at the first I was like, oh, you know, because, you know, with, with, with bloggers and interviewers, 
the 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 problem that Coy has is however they feel about their dad, her dad, it's gonna come out in the interview and sometimes it gets awkward of her trying to probably defend me or her just don't want to hear the stuff that they have to say. Um, you know, I know Math Hoffa, um, you know, uh from Badland and the other guys up there, I really don't know, you know what I'm saying, too well. But when I watched the interview, you know, it was a personal interview. I mean, you know, I was like, Big time. They, yes. they really get, they, you know, they really get, they really get personal. And a couple of things stood out in the interview um, that I loved. Of course, my daughter, you know, acknowledging um, that, you know, uh, that I am her father and, and that, that maybe she might have jumped the gun a couple of times and she apologized on there. And I was just like, wow, you know, I guess in this day and age of social media, I think apologies on social media should be taken as how apology was when we grew up without social media when I actually had to come to you and apologize face to face. But I think we need to take that as that now because this is the time we live in. And, and I was really appreciative of her and, and how she went about it. And, you know, I could see maturity in this interview, of course, with Coy, that I really appreciate it. Um, I think when I'm looking at the questions that they're asking her, I think, you know, how do you feel about the sins of your father? Or do you feel like the stuff that your father went through is affecting you? And, and I'm saying to myself, I'm saying, you know, I've done a lot of great shit out here. like for the culture too. And, you know, you know, they don't bring that up. They, everything kind of, at least with them, you know, with these hip hop heads, the Eminem thing always has to come up. And it's like, Eminem and Koi are so far apart. Like you really don't have to bring that up anymore, you know, but they did. And I love the way she answered everything, man. They said, hey, would you do a song with Eminem? She's like, man, I gotta check my father first. Man, I, man, I almost busted out in tears. I, I like, you know, I, I was I was overwhelmed, but but again, a little bit, I don't wanna say angry, just a little bit disappointed with the line of questioning from Math and them. Like Math asked her, when did she lose her virginity? Like, what, what does what does that matter? And, you know what I'm saying? And and the other guy that said that he was an intern up at the source and and I'm saying to myself, but, but the guy that was an intern, intern up at the source says, well, how do you feel about the sins of your father? And I would love to ask this guy, what did you mean by that? Like, what, what sins? Did you realize that if you was an intern at the source, that that was my magazine? That you was the intern, and, and, and if you was the intern there, that I was, I was the boss at that time? So, you know, what sins, other than they, they could be talking about the Eminem situation? I'm just saying, like, like I know 400, you know, we were slaves 400 years ago, but this is when you look at all the rappers that they could have brought up and they brought him up still, putting him with me and it's, it just blows my mind. Like, bro, like Eminem, that situation is over with. It's done. It's finished. Like, let baby girl breathe. They didn't have to bring that up because he has no, there's no, and Koi and Eminem, there is nothing in common there. They could have brought up so many more amazing rappers. They could have brought up so much more amazing shit that I've done up at the source, but they left all that out and they continue on to push this narrative that I'm this bad guy and I did these horrible things. But if you ask them, they're not even gonna be able to come up with nothing. Well, he battled Eminem. And what people don't understand is that we didn't lose the source because of Eminem. You know, Jimmy Iovine took his um, advertisement, but we still was doing McDonald's, Cadillac, Paul Marlowe's Soap, Dow. I mean, we had every fucking company, Fortune 500 company who was investing in hip hop, invested in the magazine and, and spending for ads. Jimmy Iovine was a very small percentage of advertisement. Very small. It was just Interscope Records. And even when he took over Universal, it still was small, there's Sony, there's Warner Brothers, there's all these independents, all these clothing companies, you know? So people get it twisted. 
The bottom line was, and I'm going to say this one more time, Dave Mays, Steve Stout, and H. Edward Young all came together to form Source.com. Dave went and pulled out a $12 million loan, okay? They asked me to sit in on the meetings. I said, look, I don't know about this dot-com shit. I'm not for it, to be honest with you, Dave, but hey, you believe in it, so you go ahead and do it. You, you go ahead and go through with it. They went and got a brand new office on Fifth Avenue. I walked in the office, there was all these big, huge, look like big TVs, but they were computers. They, they were like the first computers. This is like the late nineties and it crashed. It didn't work. We ended up owing oh, oh, the bank $30 million. We Man. had to sell our percentage. Black enterprise came in and they took over the source. That's how we lost the source magazine. And I had nothing to do with that decision. Now in retrospect, when you think Steve, Dave and H, they all had a great vision because what they said they wanted to do ended up happening. It just happened years later. You know, it was the timing. A lot of early dot-coms crashed. Ask Russell Simmons about that. You can ask yep. a lot of people. People lost millions and millions of dollars when, when it first came out. Everybody had the idea on how it was gonna go, but everybody didn't have these phones and computers and access. So, so, so when people say that, they're giving Eminem way too much power. He didn't have that much power, not at all. Not over the source. We was way too powerful and we was, way, we was making way too much money. So the bottom line was when these people, when they get up there and they talk about the source and they talk about me, my legacy means something to me. And I'm not going to let anybody try to stare my daughter in a way of a narrative that isn't true. BCC, I always have to stick up for my legacy. I have to. There's, it, 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 I'm not going to sacrifice that for anybody. Like I, like, I put the work in, you know what I'm saying? I love hip-hop. Since 11 years old, I told you, 1976, I've been involved with it. Like, I'm not going to allow people who know nothing about what happened, who know nothing about me, and for some reason just don't want to give me my just due. I'm not going to just allow that to happen and me just be quiet, press. I can't. Okay, so I'm going to challenge you on a couple of things. I heard every word you said, right? Um, you know you know how close I work with Puff from day one. Um, day one. You was there day one. Day one. The greatness, big, faith, mace, locks, the whole nine. And then not so great. Him hitting Steve Stout over the head with a bottle. Oh, I remember that. Remember that? <laughs> I, just oh, I remember that. that. You talked about Stout, but I knew Stout. Me and Stout, I know Stout so good, like so well, like. You know, yeah. But the bottom line is, is this: it's all a part of his legacy. It is. So, so, so when people bring up the locks screaming, raping you records. You can't bring that up without, without bringing up the fact that Puff birthed the locks. And then they all went on to do great things and came back together. So even as, because I watched the interview and I didn't hear it the way you heard it, believe it or not. I just heard, because it's all part of your legacy. It is, the good and the bad. And more important, it, it, and I believe, and I'm not sure which one of them said it, but you were so entrenched in hip hop for so many years. Like, like there's been like years, like matter of fact, and then your daughter went on to call you the GOAT. She like, called me was, the GOAT, I couldn't believe it, man. You, I love you for that, man. That was, oh I'm my. telling you, I was, I was crying, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was shedding tears, you know, I, you know, I, I hit her up, I thanked her and I hit her mom up and it just, it was, it was a great moment because, you know, I just didn't know if, if, if she, if she felt those type of, you know, I'm, you know, I don't want to be the one that has to like, you know, um, if, if, if somebody doesn't know, then I'm not the one to try to put it in their head. You know, I'm a humble guy. 
I just, you are? I just want to make sure that that even the ugly, the good, the bad, and the ugly, I just want to make sure that the ugly and the bad, that truths are told, and then people can make their decision. The good and is always going to be the good. The good is, and even the good, like, if, if, if the good comes and people say, hey, you started the store. I'm like, no, I didn't start it. Dave May started it. So even if good comes, I'm going to put the truth in front of the good. I got to put the truth in front of the good. You put the truth in front of the bad and you put the truth in front of the ugly. This internet thing has ways of pushing narratives on you. And, you know, most mostly can be false. You just don't know what to believe on the internet. The only thing that, the only thing that can fight the internet and the false is just the truth. It's just the truth. And, you know, I can explain the truth like it's nothing. I don't have to get hyped. I don't have to get emotional. You know, I used to, but then as I've gotten older and I've gotten more mature and more understanding of, of self, you know, I don't, I don't have to be upset if I know the truth of me. I, I just don't like, because when anybody else thinks of me, I can't control that as long as, you're not in my space with any type of disrespect, then man, then, you know, God is good and shit, life goes on. But my legacy is important to me. And if, 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 if people are gonna talk to my born, this is my second born child. And if they're gonna be having a conversation with her, make sure the things you're talking about, you know what you're talking about. Cause that's my daughter. You've only, the world has only got to know her for a few years. I've known her since she came out the womb when I was in, in the hospital. You, you understand what I'm saying? So, so make sure when you talking about my daughter or, 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 or interviewing her about me, that you, that you know what you're talking about. Because shit, more than half the interview was about me anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and I was supposed to go on Math Hopper and do a show and I plan on going up there, but you know, a lot of these guys, they want you to come on their show, but shit, you got to pay my plane ticket, my hotel. Like, even if you don't want to pay me, you got to, you you know, nobody's coming out their pockets to, you know, to make you guys money. And, and I don't, right. I don't have to get, I don't got to get paid or nothing. Just fly me up there, take care of my hotel and let's, and let's chop it up because I would love to chop it up. Because one thing about me, right, there's not too many people on this earth who can sit and talk hip hop with me. It just, I just... Prez, you know, and I hope you feel the same way. We've been around Absolutely. too goddamn. We've been around too long, Prez. We've been around too long. You know what I'm saying? Shit, we've been around when hip hop started, and that means something. It means something to me. I have nothing but respect for all those guys, the Cold Crush, for all the forefathers that started. Spoonie G, Super Rhymes. I can go on and on. Count Cool Out, Funky Four Plus One, the whole Sugar Hill Legacy. I can go on and on and on. And you have to give these people their props. Without them, there is no us. Correct. And that's why I, that's what I would love for the youth to start getting on. You know, shout out to Jada Kiss because I just seen him mention that. Like he said, "Yo, I wish the youth would just give respect to the forefathers, man, and just give appreciation because without you know, you, you, it, it just doesn't happen." You know what I'm saying? Like all this money that that you know that these kids making it just doesn't happen. So, uh, you know, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm because I want to spin this back to your daughter for a second. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and 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 really giving giving it up to the greats. I'm, I'm going to tell you, you said you you damn near was brought to tears. I'm going to tell you me listening from the outside. in. I know you guys have had a bumpy ride. Uh, your daughter's young. She got in the game. She blew. She's been doing her thing. You know better than anybody how it is navigating fame, success, money. But to see where that girl has matured to, 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 to listen to her and the way she was navigating those questions, the way she was not allowing herself to fall in the traps that could have easily, she could have fell into or played into. I, 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 I was so impressed with, with, version 2.0 of court and 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 how she handled that interview but more important i'm a family dude like like i believe in family like that's at the end of the day right that's all we got like, oh, like that's all you got and to see how she held you down um the reverence she spoke when 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 saying your name um 
her understanding, yo, we might not be where I want us to be, but at least I can see things different than the way I saw them before. So no big. Apology. I, I thought she handled that interview so, so Man, well. I, was, I was so proud of her. It was just a great moment for me because I just, like I said, I just, man, like, you know, because like the, the bumpy ride has just been the social media shit, you know? I mean, before all this, me and Coy was straight. And, you know, people want to say what they want. It doesn't matter, but that was my daughter. And you know what I'm saying? And, you know, after me and her mom broke up, we, 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 we went through what everybody else goes through. You know, we in the hood, we having kids. Are we ready to have kids in the hood? Not, most of us ain't, you know what I'm saying? But it's just, it is what it is, man. We, we, you know, we, we want to have kids. We, 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 we love our kids, but we're really, we really wasn't ready. I'm running the streets, I'm selling drugs. You think I was ready to have kids? I wasn't ready, you know, but you're with this girl, you feel like you're in love, whatever, whatever you think love is at the time. And then you end up having a child. And, and you know, from there, it, a lot of chaos, a lot of, a lot of stuff happens that you just wasn't expecting. And that goes for everybody. And you know, when child support comes in play and then maybe you and the girl broke up and you're with another girl. So now you're gonna deal with the new girl and then the baby. Like there's a lot of shit that comes in play that you had no idea was gonna come in play. And I'm just happy that me, and her mother are in, are in a real good place, man. Like me and her mother's in the best place we've ever been since probably, you know, we, we've we we've split up. And, you know, that's big for Coy. Yep. You know, like I, like I always said, you know, when I did reality TV and I'm on TV with different women, that had to be hard for her to watch. And I never took that in consideration. You know, I'm on, you know, I'm on TV with, with other women and, you know, she's with her mom and maybe things ain't going as as, as great as it should have been. But I, I, I it, you know, I had to take some soul searching and really understand that. I like to put myself in other people's shoes, man, because if you don't do that, you know, you, you, you're just being selfish. And I didn't want to be that. And, you know, I'm just happy that she's doing super well. Um, she has a lot of my qualities in her. You know, her mother call, calls her Benzina. <laughs> 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 you know. Coy got that, and that's what I had, you know, that just that I'm not going to take no for an answer. I'm going to keep going no matter what nobody says. I'm, I'm confident in myself to know what I want. She's a boss. She runs shit over in, in her crew. Shout out to D. Anthony. That's, 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 he's young also. He's from Boston, and them two together came up and did it together. And, uh, and she has, a, you know, a nice crew. And, of course, there's been all kind of writers and producers that have all had hands in her success, but you know, um, all I've ever done was street shit and rap. And to see my daughter do as well, just, just as my son Chavo, Ray Ray, to see them doing as amazing as they are and something that, all, that that's all I've ever done is just, it's almost like a dream. You know, it's almost like, it's surreal. You know what I'm saying? Because they're, they're, they're both doing really well financially, Ray Ray independently, with Pierre Bourne is doing really well. He just signed a deal with DistroKid and they gave him a bunch of money for an independent deal. I mean, DistroKid's giving out deals and I'm proud of him. He, you know, he went on a, a major tour, did all the, sold out all the um, House of Blues and man, he got kids going crazy. Like, you know, a thousand kids singing his song, Michigan line for line. And I'm just like, man, this is crazy. You know. And, you know, they have different mothers, but they're both my kids, you know? So it's, it, you know, it's just amazing, man. Nah, that's dope, that's dope. You know what, before we switch topics, bro, um, gotta ask, she, she said y'all didn't have the talk yet. Yeah. It, it feels we, like, it feels like the door's open. It feels, matter of fact, it feels like she opened it. We've been communicating and, you know, we've been texting. She's been really busy. You know, she killed the BET Awards. As far as I'm concerned, she was the best performer. Shout out to everybody. But as far as the females go, Coy, Coy destroyed them all. And I don't want to start no problems, whatever. That's my daughter. Of course, I'm going to be biased. But, I, but she puts a lot of work into her stage performance. And, you know, um, I know her album came out and it didn't sell as much as he wanted. But, but, but when I texted her and I said, listen, Coy, Nowadays, it ain't about album sales. With the internet, 
It's about the entire brand. I said, and where you're going with the brand, you're gonna be around for a long time. There's a lot of female rappers that come and go that just rap. But I told her, don't focus on just rap. You're bigger than that. You're bigger than just a female rapper. And with the internet, it's about who you are as your personality, your humor, you know, her cooking, her dancing, you know, you know, just shit, her having a father who is famous. I mean, everything plays a part in the brand and that's what she has to focus on. You know, she's getting, she, she's turning down $50,000 features. So, you know, my thing is, if, if, you know, if hold on, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to interject. That gotta be feel so damn good as a she, father. She, listen, that, man, that. listen, my man Vince Herbert, you know Vince Herbert. Of course. Vince called me from Miami and Vince got a bunch of artists and Vince said, hey Z, you know, we tried to get her on one of our artists and offered the 50,000, but she never got back with us. And you know, if Coy's not feeling it for her, if she doesn't feel it, it's not about the money. It has to kind of match whatever she's doing. So, you know, it, it, that's why I'm explaining to her, it doesn't matter how many albums you sell because the, the, the money you get for shows and the money you get in for features is showing you where you at out here and how popular and famous and how great people are taking to you. Just keep going, you know, TV, movies, sky's the limit, business, you know what I'm saying? You know, her, her fashion, her modeling. I mean, she's she told me, man, she said, she said I'm gonna be the biggest thing ever. And I might have, I'm not saying I didn't take it serious, but when your kid says that, you'd be like, no doubt, no doubt. But she did it. And, 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 and I'm super proud of her and I love her to death. Dope, dope, dope. Um, yeah, I, I love it, Ray, real talk. And, and, and I pray, you know, y'all sit down sooner than later, but I it's love it. It's gonna happen, it's gonna happen, Ray. No, I it's love the happen. direction it's going. It's okay, um, let's switch topics. A lot going on in the world. Um, Overall, oh, definitely. Shout out to hip. Buster Rhymes. Shout out to Buster Rhymes because, Woo! yeah, shout out, shout out to Buster Rhymes because he really embraced Koi, and you know that, that that means a lot. He's a legend. Um, he's a great guy. I've known him for a long time. You know, I don't think he remembers this, but right at nine eleven, me and Buster was together that night, that morning, right before it happened, doing a song, and um, you know. I just want to shout out because, you know, him, uh, like I said, embracing Coy, you know, she really respects and loves him. And man, I just want to, you know, sh shout him out. Dope. And you, you know something like, it, it, it's crazy because I was just talking with somebody the other day. It feel like Buster's finally getting his flowers. Like he was just honored at the awards. Um, it feel like Buster's everywhere and people are embracing him and really giving it up to him. Uh, and, and overall, just a damn good dude. Like he deserves he, it. He deserves it. Musically, he deserves, he deserves it. it. And as a human being, he's always been the same bussy bus. So shout the bus around. And and oh. you know, people don't realize how hard it is to last in this game. It, Yo, it is not think, think, think about this, right? Think, think about this. <laughs> this dude go back to leaders of the new school. Come on. What, what man. was that? Like, is, is that late 80s, early 90s? That's late 80s. It's late 80s, right? Late 80s. It's late 80s. Like, and he's and he's managed, he's managed to um in each generation managed to put out amazing music and stay relevant. And you know, that's like I said, and shout out to Spliff. Me and Spliff talk a lot. That's my dog. That's my bro. Yeah, me and Spliff. Spliff. Me, me and Spliff are a little bit closer because we always call on each other, always checking on each other. But you know, um, Spliff's another one. I mean, they're real hip hop guys. These are hip hop guys, they love hip hop. I don't care how tough everybody is and how, you know, we love hip hop. And that's and that's the that's the common de denominator in us 50 and over guys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We love hip hop. Yeah, but I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. You bring up Spliff. Yo, those two got one of the best shows. Like, I don't By care far. what genre of music. I'm not just talking about hip hop. I don't they care. They practice. They practice. <laughs> their show is insane. You go to their show, that's what a performance is supposed to be like. And then Buss got so many records that's them high octane records that yeah. you, and, and he got so many records that you forgot what he did. Joints with Janet Jacks. He got joints with Pup. It's just so many records. I remember we gave, I remember they won, him and Janet won the best video at the Source Awards 
And he damn near was body slamming hype up there. Everybody thought they was fighting. He was Buster was so happy. He was just picking hype up and going crazy. Like his energy is unmatched. His it's energy unmatched. is unmatched. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely hip hop. All right. Um, you know, and I don't even know a proper way to segue into this, but please tell me what what, what is your thoughts on um Zion, Zion Williamson? And um, he's not he's not strapping up, is my first thought. <laughs> 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 he, he's, he, he ain't he, he's not strapping up and, 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 and he, he must don't know about plan B, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so you know, nah, but um the Zion thing, Prez, is just another example of the NBA giving giving these young guys all this money and they just ain't ready. They just ain't ready. Physically and basketball wise, they're ready. Mm -hmm. Everything else, they're not ready. And it's it's it, it, it's it's gonna be a detriment. It's gonna get worse. The John Morant situation, Zion, I mean, you know. If there's nobody in these guys' corners that are telling them just the basics of life, not basketball, but life, if there's nobody showing them the way, if there's nobody instilling um, values, then then it's it, you, you, you're going to see more Zion and John Morant. You're going to see more of it. And my fear, it's going to be something that's really going to hurt somebody. It's really going to come out to a situation that's gonna be a really hurtful situation. The Zion situation is unfortunate. You know, um, yeah, it's unfortunate, man, because, you know, these girls out here, look, come on, it's no secret. You know what I'm saying? They out for a bag. And, you know, they're gonna try to embarrass you and disrespect you any way they can. And, you know, he has to realize that, you know what I'm saying? Make, you know, make these motherfuckers sign NDAs and, you know what I'm saying, or, or, or something, because it's, it, it's unfortunate what you know what these women are trying to do to him but he's a baby you can see inside he's a man but inside that head you got a child in there and that's to me the nba needs to be more they need to be more cognizant of that you know they need to really understand that they, that listen before you give this kid all this money and just let him do whatever he wants to do he has to go through some training of the mind and of the spirit first and I and, and I I just I just think the NBA don't give a fuck. I just think they just want to give the money, come come entertain our, our crowds, and, and and so we can get more money. And that's all they care about. You know what I'm saying? And and these kids end up, you know, these kids end up, end up paying for it in the long run. So, yeah, but but here's the deal, man. The NBA is a business. Like like they they are business. I'm in business to make money. I, I I'm wondering. Where, where the people who, like you brought up John Moran, like where the people who love you, like truly love you, and they see you walking down this road, like even, even in the John Moran case, oh son, if, if y'all didn't, if your man, I'm gonna go that far, if your man didn't put you on IG Live, we would never know. Right. Like we, right. we would like, how, how does somebody who love you Make a decision that bad on your behalf. Um, I wouldn't say he doesn't love them. I just again, you got kids with kids. You got immature with immaturity. I, you know, I think that's the love right, is there. Damn, think, you just said I think, a mouthful. I think the love is. I think the love is there in its own way. But if 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 if, if you got two irresponsible people in you know together, it's it's only going to bring more irresponsibility. You know, I don't, I don't, you know, I know Jaws' father loves him. But, you know, I'm saying I'm sure, you know, with all this money and all this fame, it's just distracting him from what he needs to be doing. And that's raising his son in the proper way that his son is not going to hurt himself. And that's all we're talking about here. Yeah, but, you know, people get just the Internet and money distracts the fuck out of people. And that's what's going on. They're just being distracted by the Internet, by fame, by money. And it, it's nonstop. So that becomes. That becomes that becomes their life and the focus is all the bullshit. Is all the, you know what I'm saying? Anything that any if anybody tries to say, hey, I don't think you should do this, they'll probably, they probably won't even be around anymore. So, you know, you I mean you gotta take things, you know, hey, that's just two 
but I'm sure there's a lot of um, young guys in the NBA who, who was raised by responsible parents in, in, that are doing the right thing. And let's give them, let's give them props. Absolutely. Let's give them props. I, I, absolutely. Um, you know, even, even going backwards for a second with this Zion joint, and you broke it down exactly as it should be broke down. You know, you 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 look at this dude, and I get it. Um, you know, you got money, you got celebrity, you got people. If you say jump, they gonna say how high. I'm just trying to figure out, like, yo. We done all watched this movie a thousand times and we all know how it ends. Like you gotta choose your women just a little bit better. You gotta he's choose. A kid. Like, he's a kid. He's probably been watching porn. He, you know what I'm saying? He probably been looking at porn. We ain't had no money all that time. And now he got all this money, man. He going after them girls that he's been watching. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, you, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and nobody's there to tell him, homie. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you got to move better because this A, B, and C is going to end up happening. A, B, and C ended up happening. He's having a child. It's funny because the girl he's having a child by, uh, she's like, she was a regular on Queen's Flips um, Live. Uh-huh. And, yep, yep. and, 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 and uh, the girl Rose, and this was just a, a girl, cool girl, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I because I, I'd be on Flips Live and she ended up moving to Atlanta to be a stripper. You know what I'm saying? She moved to Atlanta to be a stripper, and here comes Zion. You see, you gotta understand that Zion is every stripper's dream to come through. You feel me? That's what they've been waiting for. You see, in Cinderella, you waiting for Prince Charming. In the strip club, uh, 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 Alizé or Diamond is waiting for Zion. Is waiting for Zion. There you go. You know yep. what I'm saying? So, so, it, 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 hopefully, hopefully these young kids can watch what Zion's doing and see the bullshit he's going through and say, you know what? I don't want to go through that. I don't want to go through that. And hopefully they just do it. They do it better. But, you know, I feel bad for him, but he, you know, listen, he got a bunch of money and hopefully, you know, hopefully, you know, <laughs> hopefully he can learn from this and move forward. You know, he has a child on the way, so he has to be responsible. I mean, shit, I know Rose is happy as fuck at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the other one is pissed off. What's the name? Uh, uh, Mariah. 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 Mar yeah, Mariah. Me and Mariah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> She's but, but but she put up a positive pregnancy test. So she claiming she Hey, pregnant. man. Her fucking womb so polluted she can't have babies. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Her oh, fucking man. womb is so polluted you can't have babies. <laughs> that Tony Montana talk. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she, I mean, no I'm disrespect, no disrespect to Mariah, but I don't agree with what she's doing. She's trying to oh, embarrass yo, him and out him, and that ain't right. You know what I'm saying? So she, she's a nightmare. She yeah. is a nightmare for this yeah. man. She went so far as to tell his team, tell the owners of the team, y'all better trade him or else I'm releasing a sex tape. Like she was sticking everybody up. She'll go to jail now. She'll she'll go to jail for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She'll go to jail for that. They don't play Tattoo that shit. The man's name on her on, on her face. Like yeah. I'm like, yo, this yeah. is. This she'll be she'll be she'll be having lesbian orgies in in, in cell block seven. You know what I'm saying? It, it, <laughs> yeah. And to be honest, you know something like that needs to happen because mother because you know these motherfucking chicks need to know you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you just can't, you know, release the sex tapes and all that dumb shit. You can't be, that's, that's against the law. You know what I'm saying? So, and Zion got enough money to pay a lawyer, so I hope he sues her ass. Yeah, I mean, he's been staying quiet about it. I just hope he chooses better. I hope, I hope his mama, I hope his, his, his father, somebody pull this man to the side. Well, and you know, say, he Look. was raised, I don't think he was raised by his mother. I don't think, I think, I'm not sure of his situation. I don't think his, I'm not sure. I don't even want to speak on it, but I don't. I don't know the dynamic of his parenting coming up. You know. Yeah. 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 All right. Guess uh, what? Le guess what? LeBron and Allen Iverson's mother wasn't going for that shit. I know real that. Talk, right? <laughs> real talk. <laughs> she would have. She would have had problems with one of their mothers. Believe me. Oh, <laughs> without a doubt, they they wouldn't even <laughs> had to do nothing. Like, like, especially you know LeBron's mother. She she was dipping, and AI's mother was something completely different. 
they wouldn't have had it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> That's real talk. All right, let's stay in the NBA for a second. Uh, your girl lost a Pippen. <laughs> I, I, I got a couple of things I want to talk about. So let's just start with her getting half of Scotty's NBA retirement money. What, what, what's your thoughts on that? Even before we go to her shenanigans with Marcus. I mean, whatever, you know, Scotty had a bunch of kids by her. He married her. You cannot hate on her with the results. She did everything properly when it comes to that. She married him. There wasn't no prenup. Okay, sada, sada. Whatever it is, it is what it is. Whatever it'll be, it'll be. You can't blame her for that. That's him. He has to take responsibility for that. He married her. There wasn't no prenup. He had a bunch of kids by her, which one is in the NBA. Big up to both of them. They have beautiful kids. But yep. that part, I'm not mad at Lobster about. I'm not hating on a woman that's going to get hit, that's going to get hers if she did it the right way. You know, I could hate on the theory of it. Like, damn, why does she? But at the end of the day, these are the laws and we live in a land of laws and she hasn't broken them. Okay. So her getting half of his retirement or whatever, if it's, if it's legal, then you can't get mad at her about that. You know, um, now the shit with Michael Jordan's son, now that's some different shit right there. That's some, that's some different shit. And you know, there's more to that. You know, there's, there, there might be some issues going on with Marcus and Michael. There's definitely some issues going on with Michael, Loster, and Scotty. I mean, it's just, we, you know, at this point, who's to say Michael didn't smash? You know what I'm saying? Like, he just, like, she just, she's reckless with it. And she just doesn't give a fuck. And, you know, she's 50. He's young. I wonder how he's going to feel about it when she's 60. Yeah, because you, yeah. know, you, you, can, you can hold it together in 50, but 60, oh, shit starts falling apart, <laughs> you know, <laughs> in ways. You know, that's like a car when it gets like 80,000 miles, you cool. You get that 100,000 miles, everything's fucking up on it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you know, it, listen, the universe works in strange ways. And I'm sure, you know, her doing that has a lot to do with getting back at Scotty. We don't know what Scotty was doing or who Scotty was cheating or who. We just don't know. So I don't I don't like to judge because you don't know people's situations. Lord knows I've had mine. Mm -hmm. But but it's just the optics of it looks just kind of strange. Like if I'm if I'm Scotty's son or daughter and you're fucking with Mike's son, it's just the optics of it look strange, but if that listen, if they're happy, who the fuck is to say what anybody thinks? If them two are happy and they're in love and they respect each other and it's sincere, then then then, then who are we to judge? Okay, so so here's my thoughts, right? Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back to to first her getting lifetime lifetime spousal support from that man's um, NBA retirement fund. I, I'm, I'm not a big he, fan of this. He signed it. Okay, hear, hear me out, hear me out. And it's got nothing to do with him signing it. It, it, it got, that's the law. He was with her, he, he was married with it to her for something like 20 something years. The law is you, you, you was with this woman for 20 plus years. You got to pay her for the rest of your life. To your point, and, and I'm going to start what I'm saying by prefacing it, by letting people know. The woman that, that she has shown herself to be today, 2022, 2023, I'm not a big fan of that woman. Not. But she only came on my radar in the last couple of years. When she was married to that man, when she was 21 years old, she gave that man four kids. She, 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 she was traveling with this man. According to her, they was having sex four times a day. I didn't hear about no loss of Pippin. So she took from the outside, maybe she was a model wife. 
Maybe she was a woman who really held him down. And because of that, I could be mad at the laws because I don't know that anybody deserves a lifetime spousal support, <laughs> but I'm not mad at the woman no. because no. I don't know, to your point, if, if uh, Scotty was running around on her, I don't know what he was doing. I just never heard nothing about her. So that's one thing. You know the Bulls were famous back then. You already know what the type of shit was probably going on, Prez. No question. Rocket science. No question. And, and, and I ain't hear people about his wife. But here's, here's where Sean Prez's problem coming in. This, this, my problem ain't even with her. This Marcus Jordan dude? Yeah. Come on, man. Like, like, your last name is Jordan. Savage. Like, understand. <laughs> so let's start there. Your last name is Jordan. You're the first born to the best, to the G-O-A-T, to the greatest basketball player to ever walk planet Earth. You can have any woman on planet Earth just based on your last name. This is who you choose? She been sleeping with dudes in and around the NBA since her and Scotty broke up. Matter of fact, her son is playing with one of the dudes she was sleeping with. So she was, he like, like, like Marcus Jordan is in his 30s. Um, Beasley was 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 like 21 when yeah. she was knocking that down. Now her yeah. son got to play with him. Yeah. So the, the 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 quality of woman that she's showing herself to be, yeah. I'm just like, yo, Marcus, really? So <laughs> I don't know if this woman just got the most banging box ever, but she's putting something on this dude that's crazy. And for me, I'm just like, and I got to give it up to Michael because they, they, you know, Mike is an OG. Mike don't even talk to, to photographers and, and paparazzi. They ask Mike, yo, you co-signing? You lost it? No, no. He, he didn't just say no. He was like, hell no. 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 And, and and you know him and Mark, him and Scotty got problems. And yeah, but he you still know, is a man's man. I think with Marcus, Marcus don't look like Michael. Marcus don't play like Michael. There's nothing about Marcus that says Michael. And I think, I think Marcus is 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 kind of re rebelling because of that. I think, mm. I think, I think when when he sees his dad. He doesn't see himself. He doesn't see that greatness in himself. And I think he kind of holds that against him. And I think this is to, to piss his dad off more than anything. Mm. Yo, that's crazy. I never thought of that. I never I thought think. of that. That's what I so, think. So, so you think even at 30 something years old, being a child of, of, of a uber famous, uber rich celebrity, icon this man can still be rebelling just based off his bloodline i look at the small situation with me in court and you gotta understand like when kids are looking at me they see people loving you they're looking at it like fuck that i'm supposed to be loving them he's supposed to be loving me they're looking at that and now michael can you imagine being michael J jordan's son Everybody in the world probably wants to be Michael Jordan's son who, who plays basketball. Like, he's probably going through shit that we can't even dream of. And, you know, it, it, it's obvious. This is a rebel move. This is a move to piss Michael off, you know. And he, you know, and, 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 and it's working. It's, it's working. You know, he's pissing motherfuckers off. You know, for Mike to say, hell no, that shows you. Mike don't say nothing. That Never. shows you. That shows you alone that Mike is pissed the fuck off. And you nah, know, I, I mean, you know, I mean, listen. Everybody's using each other. He's using her to piss off motherfuckers. She's using him to piss off motherfuckers. That ain't gonna last. When when you're with somebody for outside, for other than I love, for other than love one another, it never lasts. No, Give it a no, couple no. more years. Give it a couple more years. That shit's gonna be over. I don't even see it lasting a couple more years. And, and here's the deal, right? Homegirl, homegirl, she was with Future. 
She she done been with all kind of it's people. All right. You know what? It don't listen. Women are gonna be with guys. That's just how it is. So when you're with famous like Lori Harvey, look at Lori Harvey. Yeah, you, know what yeah, I'm yeah. you know, I mean, look, you know, the famous, more famous you are, the more famous men you get, and then it gets polarized, it gets like you know, magnified. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Women are out here getting their rocks off, man. And you know what I'm saying? Shit, like men are. I mean, we live in a hypersexualized society right now, especially in a society of the internet where being with somebody gets you clout and comments and clicks. So, you know, you know I mean, hey, listen, God bless everybody. I just hope everybody's strapping up, man, because HIV and AIDS is still out here, you know? Real thing. It's a real thing. Okay, switch topics with me for a second. I'm going to read something, so give me a second, right? L.A. County Sheriff's Department will no longer detain people accused of battery, vandalism, theft, narcotic, narcotics use, and other nonviolent offenses. Plus, anyone arrested for these crimes will automatically be released without paying bail and before arraignment. They said nonviolent offenses, but then they said battery. They included battery. Like, you ever see Escape from L.A.? Hell yeah. Like Kurt Russell? You ever yeah. see that? Yes. That's what's getting ready to be. <laughs> it's going to be chaos in L.A. Yo, let, let, let me explain something to you. Tina knows, Beyonce knows mother, just got her home broke into. They took a million dollars, literally a million dollars in cash and jewelry from out yeah. that woman's house, ransacked the house. It was once upon a time where street crime happened in the streets. In LA, them boys realized like the money is where all the celebs is. And every time you turn on the news, it's another celebrity getting hit with a home invasion. Another one. So to your point about escape from LA, that's the way it really feels like it's gonna be out there. Like, like they, they they're not even holding that, you for a rim. What they don't understand is that a lot of those people that they're you know letting out, they don't because even though they have petty crimes, they don't have nowhere to go. They don't have any money, they don't have a job. So what the fuck you think they're gonna do? I mean, I don't understand that move, but at the end of the day, letting people out of jail, I'm all for it. You know, fuck jail. You know what I'm saying? That shit is fucked up. So, but I don't know, man. It's, it's, I'm still waiting for our fucking reparations. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Where the fuck are our reparations at, bro? Yeah, okay. So, so, so let's talk about that. I don't, I don't know if you saw, but, um, Black Wall Street, Tulsa, Oklahoma, um, they, they, they went and burned down Black Wall Street in the early 1900s, I believe. And it's three living survivors. They put in a case um, to get reparations. And this past week, it was just thrown out. Can you believe that? I mean, reparations needs to be given because of slavery. You know, Black Wall Street is one thing. And I feel for them people. That was an isolated moment. It wasn't Wall Street like what white Wall Street is. You know, it was a, a, a strip where black businesses flourished. So that's yes. necessarily not black Wall Street. It, it, it was Wall 125th Street. Street in Harlem yeah. back in the day. But yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that was unfortunate. But, you know, the more I, I dive into the slavery thing, the more I research, we really built this shit, bro. We made it so these families are fucking filthy fucking rich. They need to give some of that fucking money back. It's just simple. It's fucking, like, it's not right. The Indians got theirs. We need to get ours. Are they fucking crazy? The reason why a lot of these families are fucking rich and these white families have great homes and land and property and businesses is because of slavery. Like, what the fuck? Like, come on. Like, we need our fucking represent. We need our, repar our our reparations. There's no question. They owe it to us. They have to give it to us. If they don't, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So we need our reparations, though. I they mean, owe it to thoughts? us. What's, what's your thoughts? You think we'll ever get it? I think we will. You know, we're moving the ball slowly but surely. You know, the ball's getting moved. I think we will. It's going to be 
interesting to see how, you know, I mean, PPP was a little baby reparations. <laughs> you, know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, so I, I, I think, I think, I think eventually something will, will have to happen. You know, there are some white people who do get it, who do understand. And once they're in power, then we'll be all right. You know, we, it just has to be the right person in power. Listen, the governor of California, he, he's, at least he's, he's making baby steps. And I got to give him Gavin, whatever his name is. Gavin I got to give him, Gav, yeah. You know, we got to give him his props because he seems to be taking the lead when it comes to this reparations thing. He's the governor of the most, of probably, as far as economy, the fucking fifth economy in the world you know, as a state. So, yeah. you know, so his word means something. And you know, you know, let's, let's, you know, it's it's, it's going to be interesting to see. But we need our reparations. It's it's it, it's it's just not fair. It's just not fucking fair. Period. Yeah, but I'm I'm gonna tell you, um, we do need them. We deserve them. This this, this country was built on our backs, um, for sure. But I don't know that we gonna let that. Like I'm gonna live to see that day. I I, I we I might think... not. We might not. We might not. We might. Not. But, but I, I think, pray that that day come. Yeah, I think down the line, I think our, our, our greats, they might see it. You know, God willing, you know, God willing, you know, God exists. So as long as we have faith in God, then we have faith that that's going to happen. Because it, nope. it's, right, it's the right thing to do. We're not talking about, hey, you know, you should do this. No, it's the right thing to do for humanity. You know, what they did to us was horrible. And you know what I'm saying? Like if, 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 if we're gonna even this fucking playing field out, they need to give out reparations to our people. Without a doubt. No, without a doubt. Okay, yo, you know something? And this is a, this is a hard topic for me to even bring up. I wanna get your thoughts on it. Um, you, you, you familiar with Jackie O from, from, from uh, Wildin' Out? Yes. Okay, did you know her by any chance? Okay, I never got a chance to meet her, but she 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 seemed like a very beautiful woman. Her and her husband, three kids. She go in for a mommy makeover and passes away. And a BBL, BBL. Is that what it was? I mean, that's that's what they go in for, right? I I I, I mean the woman she she had I mean to mommy be makeovers is just another word for a Brazilian butler. No, 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 no. I didn't get that. I, I thought, okay, she had three kids. So I'm thinking maybe she's going to tighten her stomach up. Well, it's all relative. Tight. It's all relative. You know, tighten the stomach up, get some fat injections in your ass, take some fat out of here, throw some hair. Right. I mean, you know, these people don't understand that these operations are dangerous. And when you're going to these, especially whether you're going to Miami or out the country, especially out the country, you know, sometimes they have to rush you. You know, you're staying in these third world country you know, um, there's these third world country hospitals and third world country um, um, recovery homes. And man, you know, they be having to get blood transfusions and all kinds of shit happens. Emergencies yeah. happen all the time. I, there's a lot of women that have went through probably near death experiences because of these operations that you'll never know about. Okay. So, you know, it was unfortunate what happened to her. What's even more unfortunate What's more unfortunate is that it happened here in the States. And, you know, I mean, hey, man, I, you know, it's so common now. You know, a lot of these, these operations are common. So, um, like any operations, I mean, you can go in for something with your tooth and something could happen. It's just an unfortunate situation, man. And, you know, my, my prayers go out to the kids in DC and, and, and her family. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know the father was, is crying, you know, the father was like kind of crying foul play. So just kind of interested to see what, what happens with that, with the doctor and, you know, just more information on how that happened and what's gonna, who was responsible, you know? You know, you know, uh, first and foremost, um, my condolences out to, to um, DC, Young Fly, to, to all of the people who love that woman, right? She, she, outside appearances, she seemed like a beautiful woman. Um, and, and and they lost. She was young. I mean, what was she suffering? Like kids, man. Can you imagine the kids? Yeah, the kids. Yeah, that's man. what I'm saying. Kids. kids growing up without a mother. 
But it's so crazy that these women, they're putting um, this, this, this undue pressure on themselves because I was at, I asked my man this and I asked you this straight up. I don't know what woman's going to watch this, but I, I can't think of a woman I ever told in my life, yo, you need to go and have some type of cosmetic surgery. You need to go and get a BBL. You need to go and do something. I, but they all running and doing it because they believe like, like that's what a man want. And I'm well, like, well, a man, you know, let's be fair. Yeah. Men love fat asses. Men. They do. Men love fat asses. And, you know, some women aren't born with a fat ass, a big butt. And, they, and they're going to get the, you know, at first when it was first happening, I was like, oh, it was looking that natural. But I'm not going to lie. You know, that shit looks good. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. See, I try to keep it all the way 100, Prez, you know? Like, I like it. It's not like I'm telling you. I'm not, I'm not saying I, I don't like it. I'm not saying I don't like it. What I am saying, I, I never I never pushed a woman to go do it. And, and, yeah, and, well, you don't have to push them. I don't think you got to push them. I think they want to go get them themselves, you know? Yeah, you ain't got to push them. <laughs> Clearly, and but the but the cost is too much, man. If you playing with your life like that, I I don't know, man. As much as much as a dude might like it, yo, go old natural or get in the gym and do something. I don't know, man. You ain't man. They ain't getting them fatties in the gym. Not like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> the doctors are doing what this bread. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying for real. Yeah. <laughs> well, I ain't gonna lie. I, I tell you this much. Uh, that price, that that that, that cost, I'm no, just I mean, yeah, yeah. That one, that one there, like her her, her kids got to grow up without a mother. That love story her and DC had, gone forever. It, to, to me, it wasn't worth it. No, it's a, no, no. Of course not. It's not worth it. But you know, I mean, the, you know, it's just an unfortunate situation, man. It's not going to deter one from 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 getting them. BBLs are here to stay. They're here to stay. They ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Some will go back two and three times. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. Yeah, you got women that'll go back and get, you know, go get a, you know, get that fixer flat. And, you know what I'm saying? Get that extra pump up, you know? But, um, hey, man, listen, we just got to pray. We got to pray. And I think women should do their due diligence when they go to the doctor just to make sure. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, do, just do your research. Okay, switch topics with me. Let's go to hip hop for a second. Yeah, because I was the ill one. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Boosie. Boosie. Oh. Shout out to Boosie. Boosie, man. Shout out to Boosie, man. He really stuck up for Koi. Salute to my guy, Boosie Badass. You know what I'm saying? There we go. I was pissed Boosie off badass. watching him. I was pissed off watching him get locked up. You know, with that situation with the feds, man. I didn't, I didn't, you know, because sometimes I wish Boosie would just fall back a little bit because we don't, we don't need Boosie locked up. He influences so many, you know, and same thing with Charleston White and a lot of these guys, they, they do have good in them. They do have great messages, but sometimes I just think, it, you know, they, like, like they go overboard and they bring unnecessary, um, you know, negative negativity towards themselves, you know, and um, I just hope everything works out for him because we need Bootsy out here. We do. But you, you, you know, I just want to tell you about like, is it not insane? Like, let's 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 really paint the picture here. Lucy was at a video shoot in a known crip neighborhood uh, in San Diego. The feds, cops. I don't know if it was the feds at that moment, but the cops. The state, watching, state, the state, 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 state. Watching an IG live. Look like oh, homeboy got that thing in his, in, 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 in his back. Do you know them dudes sent out a helicopter to to fly and figure out what what you know chase Boosie through the highway the whole nine had him pull over, and when they did, obviously they found two guns in the car. The state was going to dismiss it. Boosie walked out the courthouse and the feds is out there watching 
and wait. They, they was all in cahoots the whole time. You know, so you the, believe the state, the state and the feds was all in cahoots. Of course, of course. You know, Boston's a Commonwealth state, so that happens all the time in Boston. A Commonwealth oh. state means that the feds can come and pick up anytime, anything, anytime. But they was they was already plotting on. They already knew what they was doing. You know, the feds already knew that the state was gonna dismiss it, and then you know when he come up, they they they, they was already working hand. That was that was gonna happen regardless. Yo, you does know, it and, surprise you at all that they use that much manpower, that much resources, that much money? Like they they literally had a helicopter go fly and track this dude down. Is it surprising to you that they would go to that extreme because they saw Bootsy with a gun in his back? Nah, because the, we're talking young black influential men. They'll go through high in hell water to lock niggas up especially the, the influential. I believe that there's a, a, a message out to lock up all the big in, influential black men. Mm. And, you know, that's just how I feel, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I, you know, I, I, I hope, I hope, you know, it might look like Boosie might have to go, you know what I'm saying? I, it's hard to beat the feds, man. I did, but it was under different circumstances, but it's hard, man. So, you know, we, we just got to pray for Boosie, you know what I'm saying? And um, I'm sure whatever happens to him, he's going to, you know, head high and he's going to go because he's already been through it. But, again, people have to look at things that are happening and use it themselves. Use what's going on to knowledge yourself so it doesn't happen to you. Yeah, I mean, um, it's unfortunate, but like you said, the the the, the feds, you know, they 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 record is like they damn near undefeated. They got it like a 99 percent. Yeah, man, they they do their homework, and you know, nowadays people are fucking helping them. Social, they just get on social media and, and they're helping them. They're, they're making their jobs easier. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know. My little hiatus from from the internet was the best thing that's ever happened to me. You know, all my, they took down my Instagram. They took down my Twitter. I had millions over here, half a million over here. But I'm going to be honest, man, my life has been a lot more peaceful and it's been better. And, you know, I, I realize I need social media to promote certain things I want to do and everything. But at the rate I was going, it just was, you know, a hindrance at, a, a lot and a lot of negativity. And, I'm doing just fine without being on the internet. You know what I'm saying? You know, other than doing interviews and other, you know, you know, other than doing interviews and stuff, I'm, I'm okay. You know what I'm saying? Life without the internet or being on the internet is all right. I, Lord knows I love to go to the gym and then post my gym pics. That's all I do. I mean, but other than that, you know what I'm saying? I don't, the internet is frying motherfuckers brains out here at a rate that people don't even understand. The internet is really fucking motherfuckers heads up. The energy from it, the waves, the energy is just too much for people. And, and they don't understand it. So I hope people, you know, I hope people understand what, you know, to kind of take a break from it. Just take a break from it and get out here in this real world and feel that energy. Because this, you know, there's too much of this right here will fuck you up. And it's uh, fucking people up. You know, Prez, we, we grew up at a time where half the shit that's going on, the crazy shit that's going on was never going on back then. Ever. Ever. Like, the shit that's going on now is just, I mean, it's, 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 it's chaos. The way people are dying, the way people are getting killed, just uh, it, it's just, it's out of control. And, it's, and I'm, it has to be the internet. What else can it be? The 5G yeah. tower with the internet, it's just, it's affecting the energy, the waves, the natural waves that God created us to endure. It's just too much. It's too much at one time. And, and people, you know, if they don't have any, anybody to guide them or anybody to say, hey, man, you need to relax, man. You know, man, they crash out. Like one by yeah. one, people are crashing out. Here's what I hope, and this, this is my word. You know, so many of these rappers who made it out, multi-millionaires, I get it. Um, 
you, you, you came up in the street, so it ain't like a, a light switch where you could click it on and click it off. I get it. When you make it out, you got to understand you got a target on your back. These dudes is watching. They're watching. I, I just feel like these rappers, um, I, I, I feel like these NBA stars, I feel like young Black America is making it too easy for the feds. They, 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 the feds don't need, they literally are sitting back with their feet up. Like once upon a time, they had to be on the street. They, 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 they had to have confidential informants. They had to have people willing to talk. They don't need none of that no more. Right now, they, they are doing 90% of their work with their feet up, laughing. Like, I can't believe y'all are making it this easy for it. They Watch build social media. Cases. People hanging themselves for clicks, comments, and likes. Club. Crazy. Clicks, comments, and club. That's it. I, I, I got to believe. I'm telling you, I got to believe that these feds is sitting there la like, like legitimately laughing. They saying, are. No. They if are. they only knew how much work they was doing for us. Like, I, I just got a raise. I got an accommodation. And I ain't do nothing but scroll. That's it. And and, and y'all made my life like, like, I just got a raise. I'm taking my wife on vacation because I was paying attention to your feed. And, 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 and you, it was only a matter of time before you do something dumb and I go pick you up and make a name off you. It's crazy. Could have said any better. Right? Couldn't have said any better. <laughs> Drop the mic. <laughs> Drop All right, the mic. Talk, 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 talk to me about, um, you know, I'm, yeah, I really want to get your thoughts on this. Um, Y&W Melly. That, that, that trial is going on. I mean, it, what, his life is on the line, literally, because it's a death penalty case. First and foremost, have you been following that trial at all? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Um, it's just another trial. There's so many of them, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, man, I mean, it was, it was, it was such a, a long time ago, but it's hard to, it's hard. It's, it's happening so much now, Prez, that it's just, you can't even emotionally attach yourself to it the way you want to because it's just, it's almost like waking up and brushing your teeth. It's not one. like a big, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when, you know, it's just, it's just a regular thing now to where it's like, man, you know, I'm just waiting to see what's going to be the verdict. You know, um, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. You know, but you got to move better and you'll live longer and you'll be more free. You just got to move better. And these guys ain't moving right. The way they moving is reckless. And like you said, they making it real easy. I mean, I don't, you know, I can't draw a conclusion to anything that's on trial because you want to hope for the best. But then there's two, three kids dead. A couple of kids that are dead who got families, fathers. Right. Huh? You know what I mean? So it's, the fuck can you do? You know what I mean? But, you know, why I'm not, listen, I've been since the, the 70s, young guys been going to jail for trial, for murder. For, so it's nothing, I've seen this shit all my life. So it's nothing like, eh, it's just another one. It's just another one. And it's just another rapper at this point. Yo, how real is that? Like, like it's that common with the rappers. It's just another rapper at this point. And, 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 and it's it's sad, but it's true. I don't have any emotional, you know, expense in this. I don't have any, you know, it's just another rapper. It's just another young black man. We've been doing this for years, you know, forever. So I don't, I'm not surprised. I'm not appall appalled. I'm not, it's just, it's just, just normal. And now with it being on the internet, it's just, you know, they, they, they kill me because they're making all this money on YouTube, these law shows and these court, they're making money off of motherfuckers watching these shits. You know what I'm saying? So it becomes entertainment. 
you know. That, when, the that's cameras, what are, when the cameras are in the courts, it's just, it's just a reality show at this point, and they're making money. No, they're making tons of money. You know, it, it, here's a crazy thing. I, you know, right now, if you've been following the case even remotely, because I, I ain't that close to it, but I watch sure. it on the internet when it comes on. You know, what I mean, watch it on the on the gram when it comes on. Sometimes in the morning, I don't be on too much. Yeah, it ain't it ain't feeling too good for Melly. It's not. The prosecution is putting on a hell of a case. He, he, he damn sure is is it's not feeling good for him. But he's not helping himself. Dude going into court smiling, blowing kisses. I'm like, yo, I don't, I don't even know if this kid is all there. I don't know if he's processing, number one, the jury looking at everything. Every move you make, you, 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 you smile, how do they take that? You don't smile, does it come off as lack of remorse? If you are talking to your lawyer too much, if you're taking notes, you're not taking... Like, who would get up there, smile, and blow a kiss? I'm like, yo, do you not realize your life, your life hangs in the balance? Click, comments, and clout. He knows the camera's on him. He knows it's going to be the, the big top, big top it on, on the gram. So he's, you know, he's giving him a show. People will give their lives to give a show. Look at these TikTok kids that do these challenges that kill themselves doing dumb shit. People are doing anything for clicks, comments, and clout. People's lives are being lost for clicks, comments, and clout. So I'm not surprised. No. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you this, if it was me, is, I could give a crap about clicks. It, it, it wouldn't like, be you. It wouldn't be you. Exactly. Because I, I would be on there, because at the end of the day, it's just like you said. Whether you did it or you didn't do it, those are your two friends. We move different. And, 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 and two, two of your friends, they're not here no more. That was and, in his and, group. That was in his group. Correct. So... At, at some point, you got to understand they family is sitting in that audience. Oh, loved ones are sitting there. You you got to move like at least act like you got some damn remorse. Act yeah, act yeah. like yo, if I didn't do it, and and, and I'm serious about it, I didn't do it. I, I want to find the person. I'm I'm being. I get it. I'm up here. And I'm on trial, but the, the minute that I beat this, I'm gonna be the fir first one out there trying to figure out who did it because I love them just as much as y'all did. He just don't give me them vibes. They, they was in his group, so crazy. Um, yeah. and, and I'm gonna tell you that for even before I move this thing on, the forensic evidence looks nasty against it, him. It's against him, yeah. No, 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 no. I mean, you know, not, like I said, I don't think he's gonna beat it. I'm just gonna say I don't think he's gonna beat it. We'll see what happens. All right. So talk to me. Talk to me about this. This you following this young thug, Rico trial? Yeah, I've been following the young thug situation. I mean, it's a long ass fucking trial. God damn. I mean, there's a lot of witnesses. I mean, it don't it don't look good for thug either. But you know, who knows? You know, that don't it it been ain't looking good for thug. You know, you know, like nah. his brother just got locked back up and got ten years for violating. Got caught with a gun. So. You already know if he's doing 10, then what's Thug going to be looking at? Nah, so. Thug looking at life. But here's, here's a crazy thing, and I don't know if you're following it close. They they started looking for jurors in September 22. Mm -hmm. We in July 23. They ain't even got one juror yet. They, they telling these people, yo, this trial might take a year. People was like, yo, I can't sit on no juries in the jury box for a straight year. Getting yeah, $25 crazy. a day? That's crazy. No way I'm giving up a whole year of my life. That's a good point. I mean, they're going to have to get a jury somewhere. What they'll do is they'll fuck around and move it to a different state. I mean, believe me, they'll. that's not going to hinder shit because they don't got a jury. They'll get a jury. You remember the OJ situation? Shit. Yes, yes. But, but a lot a of these, I don't remember an OJ it taking, what is that, 10 months? And yeah. don't have one jury yet? Don't have yeah. one jury? Yeah. That's that's crazy. Yeah. And and yeah. on top of it, he got something like four, five co-defendants that's in there that don't even have lawyers. 
So it's one thing he can afford a lawyer. He can afford afford a legal team. Um, Gunner can afford a legal team. But some of them other little dudes was just them. You know how this go. It, it's just them little dudes that just was. Did you see the lawyer who said that she got to go do OnlyFans? Yo, yo, is that not crazy? She ain't. Get, I, I see what she looked like. She that's not a good choice for her. She better stick <laughs> to lawyer. Yeah, she better stick to the lawyer because that, that ain't gonna work out for the OnlyFans. Oh, but she's <laughs> saying. He said, yo, if, if if I'm on this trial up into this day, we got paid something like $15,000 to this minute. I can't give a year of my life for another $15,000. I'll be out of business. I'll be bankrupt before that, before even that happens. <laughs> right, right, right. So, right. I mean, I, do, put it this way. Do you even have any predictions on how this thing going to turn out? I, you know, I believe that, I, be, I mean, they've spent a lot of money. You know, I believe that, you know what I'm saying, that they're going to, you know, man, I, I, I don't want to see Thug go away, man. I fuck with Thug, man. You know what I'm saying? But um, like, like you said, it don't look good. It don't look good. I don't see, you know, they're handing out too much time. They've already established by a lot of different of the main guys that YSL is a gang. Once that happened, then, you know, the only thing that you have is, hey, we're a legitimate label, we're making all this money legitimately. But once the guys are saying that it's a gang, like, no, 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 your guys said it's a gang. Your main artist said it's a gang. So throw that shit out the window. See, to me, that would have been the only defense that they was a successful record label that was making lots of money. Now that that's out the window, I don't see where they have a chance in hell at beating this. And you know, there's been a lot of backdoor dealings made. I just don't see it. I just, it don't look good for Thug. I just don't. Nah, it don't look good for him at all. Um, you know, and this this is a Rico case. I mean, they just yeah. gave Casting over 15, you know what I'm saying? Oh my God. Tax right. Zone just got 30 or something. Like 35. I mean, they, they I mean they hitting dudes with screamers, you know what I'm saying? So I mean, come on, like the fuck. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, it don't look good for him, but, um, you know, the way it's going, this trial probably won't start until next year sometime, 2024. Right. That he has, now that, he, that's good. You know, the longer the better. Yeah. The longer yeah. the better. Um, yo, did you get a chance to check out his album? His album was dope. I like a couple of joints off it. Um, of course, Gunner's album is amazing. It really is. Gunner, um, Gunner. You know, but people don't understand Thug has a lot to do with Gunner's album. You know, it's not just Gunner, you know. So so when you, people try to separate it, oh, Gunner's album is better than Thug. Thug, that's Thug's artist. So Thug, you know what I'm saying? And Thug is very much involved in Gunner's music. So um, they make amazing music and that's why this is so hard. That's why mm -hmm. this is so fucked up because they make amazing music. I'm sure it was like that for 50 cents. 50 cents, you know, shit. Everybody's saying he was a snitch and everybody's saying, I heard I heard 50's chain got snatched in, in LA. Did you hear that? Nah, uh, recently? Somebody, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was about a month ago where one of his guys was wearing his chain and got taken. You know, he's keeping that real quiet, but they they, they didn't get the chain back. He it, it didn't get taken from him. It got taken from somebody he let wear it. But I, I referenced 50 because you know, people were saying what they wanted about 50, but 50's music was so amazing at the time, they didn't care about that. Remember when Ja was saying that he was on papers and they showed the paperwork, yeah. you know, but, but you know, music, amazing music stops everything. Look at R. Kelly, you know what I'm saying? You know, you make amazing music, it, it takes people away from, you know, what people think of you in your personal life. That's yeah, for sure. You, you know, you know, you bring up some, some great points because, Gonna, I mean, we talked about this earlier. As part of his plea deal, he he out of his own mouth said YSL is it, it, a gang, it's a criminal. And that and that and that hurt. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. That hurt the situation because that the number one motherfucking thing, the number one thing they had was that they was a that they was a label, period. 
And that, that right there shows that, hey, we're a label, we're successful, we're not, these, we don't have to sell drugs to get money, we don't have to do all these crazy things. That's out the window now. When your number one artist is saying that they're a gang. See, they want to establish that first. First. Then everything else will just fall behind them. But, but you know, and, and I'm, I'm going to your point, I, like like dope music trumps everything because it, it was so much talk gonna snitch. Um, people didn't know if 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 nobody would mess with this dude musically, but the dude came out, his, his album is dope. It's dope. A lot you, of people don't care about that street shit. They're not in the streets. So they don't give a fuck about that. Look at 6 9 They don't care about that. A lot of people ain't in that life, so they have no, they have, they can't put that together how snitching hurts. They don't care. So, you know, I knew he was gonna do good. Oh, I so knew. so you didn't think you didn't think his rap career was gonna get hurt behind? Hell him? no. Hell no. I knew he was gonna be all right. Uh. I knew he was gonna be all right. And, and and you brought up R. Kelly. People forget. R. Kelly, I mean, the dude was in a video, like in a video pissing. Peeing on a little girl. Like, like, like you saw it with your own eyes. Yeah. It ain't like you heard this from somewhere else. That video circulated through the hood like crack cocaine. Everybody saw it. And everybody loved him after. Like, like when he beat that case, People did if if R. Kelly didn't jam himself up again with 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 the, with, with that little harem of chicks that he had, right? He he he'd have been he'd have been home right now. Because if R. Kelly came home tomorrow, he'd be celebrated. So you think you think with a, with a hit album, people would even forgive this chapter in his life? Yeah. Are you serious? People, people still listen to, to R. Kelly's music. Yeah, they, they might do. not be in public listening to it, but motherfuckers are still listening to R. Kelly music every single day. Every day. Every nah, day I somebody mean, playing R. Kelly song. Yeah, I mean, um, this dude, I was talking to my man earlier today, and, and he was talking about the Usher um show out in Vegas right now. And he was like, yo, I don't know if anybody outside of maybe Usher and Mary could do a show like that. I was like, yo, you forget. I, I know Kells is locked up. What? But What? Oh, like, Kelly would have killed a residency. Killed it. Killed it. Killed it. Killed it. I still listen to all Kelly music. I can't front, man. No, so do I. I still listen to Fiesta and a bunch of other joints, man. I mean, shit, I listen to 50 Cent music. And we don't fuck with each other. Music trumps over everything. Music's a direct connection to your emotions, man. You can't help it. It is what it is. You know, it, it, it's crazy. So in I even listen to Eminem's music. Get out of here. Yeah. All right, hold up. We 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 got we got we got to talk about this. you telling me you Ravens because I was I was gonna stop you at the at the fifty cent no, thing. No, no, I I I I I you know um. The gym I go to play a lot of Eminem and, you know, lose yourself. You know what I'm saying? Eight miles. That's a workout like, record. That's a workout record. You know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? I mean, come on, man. Like him and Rihanna's joints dope. You know what I mean? It is what it is, man. You know, I'd be, I'd be lying to myself and the public if I, if I told him I, 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 I didn't, you know? I don't listen to a lot, but there's a couple of joints that I would listen to that, that I like. It is what it is. Yo, if 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 M called you tomorrow, would you sit down with him? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why wouldn't I? Yeah, because life is about progressing. Life is about. I mean, I, I I would hope that you would. It's about moving on. It's about moving forward. It's about leaving a legacy. So if he wants to sit down and discuss things, man, I I, I would I would I would I would I would be more than happy to. Yeah, I mean, um, I, I would think at this point, there's so many years in the past. Yeah, that's come on, man. Yeah. Come on. If we can, if we can get together, man, and and make some sense out of it, and 
And, 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 and I actually think that it would show, it would, it would really help white and black. I think if me and him did do that, it would have a great effect. I don't think he would ever do it, but you know, I, I would be open to it. And if Coy wants to do a song with him, she would have, she, she would have my blessings. Mm. I, would, I, I wouldn't hold her back. That's dope. I mean, um, you know, truth be told, like, like it's a lot of maturity in you, yeah. you know, like, like real talk. It's a, it's a whole lot of maturity in, 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 in how you progress, because you see in life through a whole new lens, and that's yeah. dope. That, that we all gotta grow. We all getting older. That's right. You, 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 just random question: Have you ever bumped into Fifty Cent anywhere? No. Nah. Yo, nah. Like in, in this whole hip hop. I mean, years movie. ago we seen each other I, when he was with Jam Master J. We hugged at the uh, at the it was a in Puerto Rico, a DJ convention conference, and this was right right before the Eminem situation or right when it happened. We seen each other. He was with Jam Master J. And we hugged it out. You know, we was on tour with each other with with that Rough Riders tour. He, he was on a couple of the dates, and then I told you, you know, what I'm saying I helped him. You know what I mean? When he got mm -hmm. stabbed, so you know we've 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 had our interaction that 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 was pretty positive. This other shit, I don't even know what this other shit is. You know what I mean? Yeah. What? What? what how, how did how did all this come back into play? I right, listen, man. You know, I mean, a lot of it has to do with the Eminem thing. You know what I'm saying? But um, you know, you know, I, I mean, listen, man. Is you know, you gotta, you know, life is is way more things in life that I'm worried about than 50 cents or Eminem, mm -hmm. you know, far beef with them, you know what I'm saying? So, but you know, you move forward, man, who knows? You know what I mean? Listen, I get my moods too. You no, know, I'm not perfect. Sometimes I get my moods and I'm like, fuck the world because I'm cursed, you know? But for the most part, you know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, moving forward, you know what I'm saying? When you get the age I'm at, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you would want to, be mature enough to see things different. And you know, I, 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 I'd reach that age, so. Yo, let, let me ask you, cause you touched on this a little bit earlier. Um, Casanova, two times. First off, shout to Casanova two times. Yeah, shout to Cass. J just accepted a 15 year plea deal. When, when, when you hear stuff like this, are you surprised? Like, do, do, do you feel like he made the right move in taking Hell them yeah. from Georgia? Yeah, he, he would have never seen the outside if he did it. He would have never seen the outside. He still can come home, cast what, 30 something, 40, he still come home, he'll be my age when he gets out. Shit, you, you, you'll be all right. Hell yeah. 15 feds, you gotta do 13 and a half. He'll be home I thought, in. I thought, I thought the feds, you got to do the whole joint. I thought, no, 85, 85, 85%, 85%. So, you know, he'll do 13 and a half and uh, he'll be home in, what's this, 23, 33. He'll be home in 2036. Yeah. He'll still have a lot of life left. You know, it's crazy because, again, a big part of, you know, what, what, what they was using against him was what was on social media. <laughs> so we right back at that again. Like, like so much of the case they built on him was social media based. It, it, it's, it's insane to me. But, you know, I'm like, you know, he was looking at something like 60 years. And it was a fair case. Sometimes know, you man. better cut your losses, man. That's right, especially with the feds. <laughs> yeah, but at least, at least, you 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 looking at an end date, right? You could do this, and to your point, yo, he come home and that he still got a whole lot of life left in him. That's right. You know, it ain't worth the gamble. But you know, speaking of somebody who gambled, you know, uh, what's his name, Taxstone? He took that to trial. What? And got 35 joints. 35 big ones. 35. Now his situation is a little different. When tax don't get out, 
you know, he's gonna be, you know, he's gonna be up there, you know. But um, you never know, man. People get pardoned, people get paroled. I mean, you just never know, man. You just you just gotta pray for these young brothers, man, and you know, wish for the best. And hopefully everybody else will look at the mistakes that they made and 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 hopefully they can avoid it. You gotta be able to use people's tragedy as a learning curve for yourself. And that's what I hope people are, are doing right now. Yeah, let, let, what's your thoughts on, because Troy Ave took the stand and his whole thing was, yo, y'all call me a snitch. Dude, say what you want. It, it, it was my man who was murdered. Right. Like, like y'all, y'all, y'all could talk all that street talk and I'm a dude. Yeah, but he, he, he didn't have to take the stand though. You know, he didn't have to. He knows that, you know what I'm saying? Um, people are going to say what they want to say, but you know, he, he didn't have to take nobody. One thing about the stand, don't nobody. And if you do got to take the stand, you know what I'm saying? You could just plead the fifth and or just tell them, you know, that you don't know who shot. Shit. I took the stand and, and, and the person who shot me was right there. And they asked me, do you know who shot you? No, I don't. That was it. I don't know. He's not in the court. I don't see him. Where's he at? No. And then shit, you get out the stand and you go home. Right, well, that that didn't happen in Troy Ave's case. He took the stand. Troy, Troy <laughs> Ave didn't just take the stand, but he he was very clear on yeah. who shot who shot at him, who he shot at. No, that you know, I, I, I don't, I don't, bank. yeah, I don't condone that, you know. But hey, we live in a different time now, President. That, I mean, there's always was, been people been taking does it even matter forever, today, though. huh? Does it even matter today? It, it, it seems like it don't. It seems like it don't. Not like it did back when I came up. My dad told me about don't snitch when I was nine, 10 years old. i never forget we had a conversation, man. He was in the bed, I was sitting at the edge of the bed and he told me, he told me why. And it always stuck to me. I mean, right now, 6'9", he probably making more money today than he ever, or, or just as much money as he's ever made. Imagine like, that. Like, really think about it. Every time you see this dude on social media, he got bags and piles of money. Imagine that. I know people myself who's flying him overseas. Shout like, out to the guys that caught his ass in LA Fitness. Shout out to them. <laughs> Yo, Ray, you know I always enjoy your perspective. Uh, you know, I love sitting down with you, kid, and we got to do this more often. But before I close this out, Yo, you got a documentary coming up. Like, oh, like, man, are, man. are you shoot? Are you shooting a documentary? Like, where, where you at with it? So, I myself and um, Suge Knight have got came together to do a documentary on the ninety five Source Awards, along with producer and director Man Robinson from Man Robinson Studios. We all we've been working on this for the last three months. Shout out to Suge. Shout out to his wife. Uh, toy and yeah, we um we've got some amazing interviews. I don't want to say the ones we've got, but we got some heavy hitters. Everybody who was there that night, of course, that night in 1995 was a pivotal moment in just all of hip hop. Yes. Not for the fact that Suge was saying all in the videos, come to death row. If you, you know what I'm saying, remember we, the, his famous speech. But also that's where the outcasts in the South had something to say, you know. Andre 3000 was damn near in tears when he was really trying to let the world know that the South is, is really, you know what I'm saying, entering this hip hop thing in a major way. It had been New York for so long and then LA made its mark, but Andre kind of epitomized what the South was doing at that time. And it, it, it was the night that changed hip hop forever. Um, I can tell you that we've got some amazing stories. We got all heavy hitters that were there that night. You know, we're still doing our interviews. We still got a about a good month to go of interviews, and then we got to go into the editing bay. Um, I'm there every step of the way. It's 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 my first major project. Um, I'm going to be doing my life story, but I want to do this first and just kind of pinpoint that night and focus on that night and everybody's feeling around that night. And man, I'm just I'm I'm excited, man. I, this is my first executive production, you know, since the Source Awards and. You know, it's 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 gonna be amazing, man. We've been working hard on it, man, for real. How, how did you and Shook connect? Um, you know, I've known Shook for a while. 
you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, uh, you know, uh, he, uh, he, he called me, we talked, and you know, we felt like this was something that had to be told. And the stories, I'm telling you, when you hear this, that night was bananas. People don't know all the drama and all the crazy shit that happened that night and how, what could have happened and what didn't happen and what happened after the awards and what happened before the awards and what led up to it. You know, Pac was locked up. He he was at the at the 94 one. He was out on bail and he rushed the stage, grabbed the mic from, from Q-Tip. Remember, yep, Q-Tip yep, was yep. messing with Jan Remember, Q-Tip was messing with, Q-Tip was messing with Janet, you know what I'm saying? And he was messing with Janet, so, you know, um, yeah, man, um, it's gonna be an amazing project, and um, I'm putting all my, I'm, I'm putting everything into it. You know, I'm, uh, you know, I'm putting, I'm putting, I'm putting my all. Take, take, take your time. Say that. Yeah. Say no, it no, again. No. So. I'm putting, you know, it's an amazing project, and I'm putting my all into it. And I just, you know, I'm really proud of of the work we've done so far. But it's going to be amazing, and we're trying to get it done before this year is out because, of course, it's the 50th year in hip hop. So. Yeah, man. I also got two movies. One just dropped called On the Run on Tubi, my best acting role. And I got this other one that is I'm 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 starring in it that's gonna be dropping in a couple of months. And it's like a fifty shades of gray type thing. And man, you know, I, I this this acting thing I'm taking to a next level. When you watch Tubi tonight, look at pull up on D A on the run. It's my biggest role yet. And yeah, man, I'm, you know this acting thing. This is this is where I'm going with it. You know, what I'm saying I'm, I'm doing really I'm doing really well. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm gonna check that out tonight. I'm gonna text you offline about it. Please do, please do, I'm and check it. Let me and let me know what you think, please. Done deal. All right, kid. Wait, you I know you the got... 95 Source Awards. Was, was was you there? No, I didn't go. I didn't go, and I was pissed. I was man. not there. Yeah, we, we're gonna be to we're gonna be there. interviewing. We're actually gonna be interviewing Ed Lover at the end of this week and Peter Thomas. But we've gotten. I don't even want to go through the list, but we've got some real major guys, man. You know, shout out to also Gip, Big Gip Goody, been helping us too. But um, yeah, man, and uh, you know, we're just we're excited, man. We're excited. I'm looking forward to it, brother. I know yeah. you got to run up out of here. And, yeah, and man, we got about another hour and a half, two hours of the sun to take baby girl down here. I got my blunt rolled up. We got some um some tequila. I'm making some jerk jerk lamb chops. Just a real chill Monday evening, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, it, it, I'll be I'll be 58 in two weeks, man. I'm just really trying to enjoy these next couple of weeks, man. My brother, we'll do it again soon. Go enjoy yourself, kid. Love you, Prez, man. Love you, man. I'll see you soon. Love brother. you, my brother. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.